Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to do uh, five things that I hate or really annoy me uh, about this car. Uh, there is other ones uh, which are on uh, out there, which I have watched. Uh, but the reason I'm going to do mine is that uh, there's some things on my list which haven't been mentioned and other videos out there, and they all have the um, common issues, steering, seating, um, sixth gear, things like that. Uh, but so I've got uh, maybe one or two things which uh, no one's mentioned, so it'd be nice to get uh, an opinion on those. Maybe it's, it's something that no one's thought about. Um, the dash traits, um, definitely number one. Um, what are the, what's the use? Apart from maybe uh, displaying a parking ticket, uh, we've got the tray on top of the dash and the one that's just under the airbag. Um, if you use it for anything, yeah, please let me know because you know I don't use it at all, I think it's just a waste of dash. Um, but say if you've made something out of it, uh, customised it, please let me know because, like I say, um, at the moment, it's whatever I put in there either falls out or you know it doesn't get used at all. Now, number two, the actual uh, bubble bits on the headlights. Um, now, I get the concept of these, these are to help uh, people um, you know, judge where the end of the, the bonnet is. I guess this comes into play with the really high seating, is to help people, you know, drive the car. But I really don't like them at all. Um, they weren't there on the pre-facelift, so I don't know why, you know, they, they felt they had to add them on the facelift version. Um, if I combine the two, I'm sure it'd make a much better light, but I'm sure, you know, nobody's done that. Maybe that's something that someone can do. Okay, number three, uh, the dipstick. Now... I don't know if it's just my car, uh, but every time it's parked up, you know, leave it 12 hours or so, pull it out, wipe it, dip it back in, the reading is always different. Sometimes it could be just above minimum, sometimes it can be on full. It's an absolute pain. Um, I've been onto the forums, um, some people have actually, uh, actually suggested that um, when you put the dipstick back in, when you pull it out, if you face where the two lines are, the maximum minimum, if you face it away from you towards the engine and pull it out, it actually gives an actual reading uh, as opposed to the way around. I don't know what the difference is, but I've actually tried it and it does appear to work. Uh, all I can think of is the design of the uh, the tube that the, the dipstick goes down. Um, I, if you know more, yeah, please let me know because I'm just crazy. I guess this is why um, a lot of STs either blow up or you know start working because it's not just a case of people flashing them, it's because they've got no oil in them, not given a proper reading. So please let me know your thoughts on that one. <clears throat> one thing that's not actually on my list, uh, but I know a lot of people have mentioned, are the actual dash lights. Um, there were a green bulb, you know, night light um, with red needles uh, and on this ST uh, a grey background. Now, I get why people don't like them, um, but as far as I'm aware, uh, Ford have always used a uh, green backing light on the cars. Uh, I've actually asked a few people and they've agreed with that. Now, I had a um, Fiesta Mark V Z-Tech S. Now, that had a white background uh, with red needles and the Mondeo ST, a uh, black background, I think, with red needles. So, it's not something that's actually new um, on this ST. It has been done, you know, uh, for the past few years. Um, so I guess it's something yeah, maybe that I'm used to, it just doesn't really stand out to me. Uh, again, uh, leave your opinion down below on that, um, yeah, let me know what you think. With the actual radio, uh, I've actually no idea why, with that. I don't know why it's orange, obviously it doesn't go with the, the green lights, that, yeah, that, is, uh, that I agree with. Um, maybe they just stole that one out of the Focus, um, the newer Focus. Not sure if that has orange backlights or not. Um, again, if you know the answer, you know, let me know. Now, again, I'm not putting it on my list because it is a common thing, um, but the no sixth gear. Uh, I just want to mention that I believe the reason there's no uh, sixth gear on these is because they are, or were, originally designed as a nippy town car. Now, if you were to put a sixth gear on them, yeah, they'd probably be a lot quicker. Um, but I think the actual reason Ford have done this, again, is... Uh, solely down to marketing. Uh, obviously if you put a sixth gear on it, it makes it, or probably will make it a lot quicker and be a lot better on the motorway car, but it is a, a town car. 
Um, I guess for marketing purposes, if you want to motor your car, you, you go and buy the, the Focus or the Mondeo. They both have uh, sixth gears, but they are a bigger, you know, uh, faster car. I guess the, the other reason as well is to make it cheaper for you know, people to insure. Number four, um, okay, this has been mentioned, but uh, no footrest. Now, going back to what I was saying, um, it is designed as uh, a town car, not a motorway car, so I feel that's the reason why Ford uh, didn't introduce a, a footrest. Could be that with it being a small car as well, there might, you know, there's not a lot of space down there to put your foot, or a footrest. So they felt that as the car wasn't going to be a motorway cruiser, um, you know, you're pretty much going to be using your clutch most of the time. Okay, and number five. <clears throat> now, my number five is not just a, a this car a Fiesta thing, it's across the board of all Fords. Um, it's the heated front windscreen. Now, I'm sure there's plenty of cars out there that do all work, but every single one that I've had is a really pet hate on a frosty morning. You, know, you press that heater button, and all you get is either half of the passenger side clears or one single line or nothing at all. It's very rare that you actually get a car where all of it works. Now, I don't know what what causes this, uh, whether it's just uh, over time you know, the, the elements go, but that is really annoying. It's one of those bug bearing issues. So they're my uh, top five. So if you have any um, other alternatives or you know comments regarding these, Again, please leave them down below. Now, I just want to um, add as well to this video. Um, I just want to give a, a big shout out to um, R23 Owl. Uh, I know I've mentioned uh, by text on that video before, but I just wanted to give uh, a proper shout out. Um, huge respect. If you haven't already yet, check out his channel. Hi, right, see you next time.